Hey everybody and welcome to a new Formula 1 diecast review and today's diecast review is going to be on the Valtteri Bottas 2019 Mercedes AMG Patronus F1 W10 EQ Power Plus. This is a awesome diecast I picked up when I was over at the Mid Ohio Sports Car Course for the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship race and I bought this from my good friends over at Gutsware, so if you want to check out their eBay store, I will link it in the description below, if I remember to do so. This is a very cool looking car. I, I wanted to get this out in time for the holidays, because I know my Max Verstappen one drew in some pretty massive views, and I'm like, you know, I really should get on with the Mercedes and the Ferraris. Burago made a couple of die casts in 2019. They made the Ferraris, they made the Red Bulls, and they made the Mercedes. Obviously, the quality is nowhere near on the level of Spark or Mini Champs. But for those who are getting into Formula One, the ones who don't want to spend the massive amount of money on Formula One models, this is the perfect route for you to go to. And while yes, the quality definitely has definitely is not there compared to let's say you know my my Sparks, this is an affordable alternative, and this is a great holiday gift idea for any of your kids, any of your uh, your friends, or you know if you know somebody who's in the Formula One, this is a very cheap diecast to get them. So, anyways, let's go over here. The box design. Uh, this box has the Mercedes colors onto it. Has age screen up. 143rd, Burago, Mercedes AMG Patronus has a chassis detail here. Got, well, it's 143rd race. Got Lewis Hamilton on this side and Valtteri Bottas on this side. Burago, official license product of Mercedes. And here's all the good copyright stuff on the back. Got the Mercedes official hologram. And you got the Mercedes car back here. 143rd race, diecast metal with plastic parts. Obviously, it's going to have some plastic parts considering how cheap this was. And all the good copyright stuff on the bottom here. All right, so let's take this thing out. You know, this, this, the, these cars, man, they just look absolutely beautiful. This thing's now out of its box, and let me tell you, these silver arrows, man, they look incredible. This is before the black livery came on. This is the 2019 version. I have the 2020 Barcelona Test Spark model version. And yes, you if you were to compare the two of them, yes, you can definitely tell a quality difference. But let me tell you, you know, this is a this is a die cast metal chassis plus plastic parts with rubber tires. You know, of course, you know, it's gonna be cheaper to produce and cheaper to make, but you get the gist of it and you get what you pay for. But for those who are just now getting into Formula One or who might want to purchase one of these fine cars. It is a good step in the right direction there for you. I mean, you can definitely see the quality difference here in the front of the car alone. I mean, one, well, well first of all, a Formula One car is supposed to have a flimsy wing. I get that. But the wings are definitely not sturdy. And plus, you do not see the little gaps in between the little winglets. That is very vitally important, of course, for downforce and for accuracy in the car itself. And quite frankly, this that is that is quite absent in this car. Also, if you go right here, right towards the where the 77 is, this is where all the antennas should be. This is where all the little, little little buds should be. Like on a spark model, they have little antennas popping out. Those are clearly absent from this car as well. And the chassis does move a little bit, but it's definitely not doesn't definitely turn. I'll tell you that. But these the tires are definitely rubber. The suspension parts are made of plastic, unfortunately. And so are these little winglets. These little winglets are indeed plastic. The halo, I want to say, is metal. That has to be the strongest part of the car. See all the little winglets here? That is all plastic, unfortunately. The under tray is all plastic. And the mirrors, I think, are also plastic as well. I believe so. But you got the halo there. Got, got Patronus. Got, you got all the sponsors back here. You get, of course, you got the delivery, which which comes with a little bit of a gradient. It's all silver here, metallic silver, and it fades to black. And this pattern texture here actually has a texture to it, so it's not perfectly flat. 
uh, paint there. It's just, you know, this is a pretty cool looking texture we got here. On the back of the car, we got the Pirelli P0 tires. These are the soft compounds. And the back, in the rear wing itself too, including the dorsal fin and all that, that is all plastic parts. Not too much detail going into the rear of the car with the onboard starter and the rear suspension parts. None of that is too in ter terribly detailed. That, like, again, you get what you pay for pretty much. The rear diffuser is not really predominant on this car. And the chassis itself here, it, it definitely does look like a cheap uh, plastic part there. So yeah, you pretty much get what you pay for, but at the same time, you know, if you really want to dive in, dip, want to get your feet wet into Formula One diecasts, this is probably the way to go. Then again, you know, I, I've seen some markets where the cars are just absolutely made horrendously, and this is a thousand miles better than anything those companies have to offer. But in all, all in all, not a bad start. I... I am a guy who loves his quality products. I am a guy who likes accuracy. I love high attention to detail. So Spark and Mini Champs are the way to go for me. But, sorry, I was moving the camera there because I was trying to get a Spark model, but apparently I do not have it in sight here. But um, yes, I'm more of a Spark and Mini Champs kind of guy. Those of you at home, who are looking at this and you're like, okay, I really don't want to spend the money. You know, this is a this is a pretty good route to go. You know, not everybody's all for you know throwing away sixty nine seventy dollars on a Spark model. As much as I love them and I rave about Spark, I say Burago is at the bottom, like at the bottom tier here. Then you go to Mini Champs, which makes diecast. They make diecast metal, and um, Spark makes the resin models. Of course, resin is gonna out 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 qualify the uh, the diecast, so you pretty much get what you pay for. But I really, as much as I want to criticize the product, and believe me, there's a lot of things that it's missing. There's a lot of things that they can do, but for the for the price I paid for, which is about fourteen, I want to say at the track, it's about. It's about right for the quality. The quality is at the price range. That's what I want to say. And, you know, you get a nice car, a nice chassis. You, you get some, some nice little details, but a lot, a lot is missing. Believe me. You, if you were to buy a Spark and compare the two of them, the difference is literally night and day. But you'll see that as you progress. I've noticed a lot of there's a huge market for these. That's why I wanted to get these out in time for Christmas. You know, if you're looking at this like, oh, I want to get my son a Formula One diecast, this is perfect. You know, if you are like, oh, you know, I'm big into Formula One, I've never collected a diecast, perfect choice. If you're a guy like me, who is a big, is a pretty good fan and likes high quality products, this is not for you. Just throwing it out there. Sometimes my my rev my my reviews have to be brutally honest. And if you're a guy like myself, this this is not for you. But if you're a guy who's just new and you know you want you don't want to spend the money, you this is a nice quality product for the for the price you pay for. If I paid eighty dollars for this car, I'd be I'd be livid and I'd be throwing stuff. But I only paid fourteen for it. And it's about right what you pay for. And let's see. Let's go over some fine little details of this car. All silver car pretty much. On a silver no, silver nose, silver wings. But on the, on the, wings, on the outside of the wings, you've got a, uh, a, t a turquoise stripe. And uh, the wing plates are all colored black. Got the little stripe here. That goes right around the... Right starts the nose underneath the driver's... Or by the driver's cockpit. And it goes right towards the engine cover. And the engine cover's got a, got a little texture uh, pattern here. And that has a little texture to it, which is beautiful. And the mirrors are, are a different color. They're turquoise. And uh, let's see here. We got the 
those, which is all colored silver. And this really is indeed a beauty. And I also had the Lewis Hamilton version too, but I wanted to review the bow test first before I got myself into the Lewis Hamilton. So let's do a 360 view of this car overall. Here's the left side. Here's the front. There's the right side. There's the back. There's the top of the car. And here is the chassis. So give us a comment, like, and subscribe. This is Robbie Noonan wishing you all happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, so on and so forth. Hopefully 2021 is a great racing season.